All right, we're going to change the oil on the Husqvarna Z254 today with a nice Kohler, nice speed. Um, got the manual out. Luckily, I did because I was thinking I had to change the oil using that drain plug right there. Luckily, they have got it coming out right there. They ran a hose all the way around just to make it easier on me. How awesome. Yeah, real quick. Look in the manual. Okay, not real quick, but. There's the lubrication. All I have to do on a 25 hour is just do some, you know, regular chassis lube and then oil change. Um, this is the first oil change this motor will get and it has to be after 10 hours. And we're at 9.7 or something, so we're gonna do that one this time. We're also gonna change the filter. 18 millimeter on the end there. To hold that while I hold my phone, while I break loose the other thing. Yeah. Like I said earlier though, they wanted the motor to be warm for some reason. I guess it comes out better. I got a feeling that's going to slip. One second. One moment. Get on, fool. Oh, boy. Hmm. Hmm. Did I mention this is a Fells channel? I'm about to bust my knuckles up, I think. Ah! Something happened. Look at there. You can't see. Like that. Nice and loose. Now, here's the worst part getting oil everywhere and all over myself. People ask me, How you not make a mess in oil? You just don't make a mess. You just be careful. <laughs> that is coming out slow. What kind of oil is that? That's nasty looking. It looks like a. Hmm. Really, that. It's like a molasses oil. Alright, well, we'll see you when it's done draining. The manual also said to remove the oil fill stick thing. So we're going to do that. Yes, I know this thing's dirty and it's barely got 10 hours on it, but yeah. She's a workhorse. I couldn't for the life of me find out how much oil this thing actually takes. Here you go, look at this. Fill engine with new oil to the bottom of the fill tube threads. Really, dude? Can you see in there? Can you see in there? So I gotta get a flashlight and fill it up until it comes up there. This sucks. Just give me an estimate of how much oil it takes, would you? So let's look here. Technical data. Alright, I'll tell you how much fuel it takes. But that's it. So, yeah. <sighs> still coming out. At least 15 minutes still waiting. Okay, so as we're waiting, I went ahead and did some checks and stuff, but let's check out the air filter. Is that zoomed in? That was zoomed in. I'm sorry, guys. Ah, oh, not bad, just a little bit. any of y'all ever had an oil filter that won't come off or you don't have the oil filter tool use a belt yeah. well maybe it's also in a really bad spot come on one moment when all else fails break out the hammer and screwdriver Now, she's gonna come out. There we go. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the that back 
back here. We'll get that snug, but not nearly as tight as what they made it. It's got rubber overing for a reason. Okay, we'll pop this oil filter off, put this new one back on. All right, new filter, we're gonna prime it a little bit since it goes on there horizontally, it's not gonna be easy to be able to do anything to, so we're just gonna put a little bit in there, a little bit on the ring. Shoot. And that oil filter was very freaking tight. Like, put on by the factory that tight, there's a problem. You know what I mean? Like. Who you got doing this crap? Makes me wonder what else I gotta worry about. But, here's the old one. Look at that, I had to put a hole through it just to break it loose because it was way too tight. Way too tight. All right, I just finished tightening that up completely. It's got an O-ring too, so you don't have to go stupid with it. People don't understand that. They just tighten, tighten, tighten like they're doing something good. I'll put about two quarts in here and then I'll check it. And I'll get back with you once I, I'll tell you how many quarts I had to put in here. Peace. Ready? So I used just under two quarts. And as you can see, where you checked it a few times, it's just a little bit above the F. So once I get the oil filled up, or once I get the oil warmed up, we will be able to uh, get an accurate reading, but, you know, we're done. Bam! What's the meter reading? 9.3. 9 9.3, 9, 12, 20. Yay! EM stands for vert. All right, well, we're going to start it up and drive it, and uh, be sure to check out my channel for more videos because I'm doing a review. I'll just give you a real quick spoiler for the review. You can see that the hose clamp there holding that spring on. I'll explain that. I'll explain how I got this big scratch. And I got these scratches all down the side. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. You'll be glad you did. I'm Bert. This is Bert's videos. <laughs>